Tero Gothio, sounds like you're in a, uh, an awfully good mood. I just made you to display your p um, pieces at a small location. Really? You're amazing, Theo. You give me too much cry, brother. The other paintings will be from young artists who are well known. I still need to work hard to uh, seduce their galleries. Hmm. Will you sketch and let me hit scene? Theodora's asked to see a uh, looking curious at the sketchbook in Vincent's hands. Um, but then he quickly lifted his case and narrowed his eyes at his brother. His voice sounded uncharacteristically uh, uh, bewildered. Honji, why are you wasting your talent sketching some little puppy like her? Because I'm very interested in her. Interested? I interested? Yes, I have you. Um, have you real um realized she hasn't really smiled once since she got here? Are you sure? She seems con um connected. Uh, connect as far as I've seen. She's always got some stupid grin on her face. I don't know about that. She does, but that's not important right now. I don't care if it, she smiles or not. Theo. Theo and Dora stared at Vincent's face. His usual devilish grin reappeared. Because I just have the most brilliant idea. Theo and Dora's devil, um, devious plan had just come to him on a whim. So naturally, he never could have uh, foreseen how it w uh, would end up turning the co uh, the cocks um, of fate in a new direction. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so... I don't know. I know I'm not going to get that. Uh, you all just need to model events and paint it. Oh, wow, pardon me for a moment. He leans in so close. The tip of his nose almost touched my as he uh, cradled my face with his hands. Okay. Okay, that looks nice. I don't know why. <coughs> oh my gosh. Uh, even, even though I've only been in this world for barely, a uh, barely, barely a week, I've already got myself into so many pursuitments. Pursuitments. And that was why I told myself that I was just going to be more cautious from now on. However, how in this world, um, how in the world did I get into this situation? Things just keep getting more and oh, things just keep um getting more and more confusing. I quietly let go of Isaiah as Vincent, um, concentrated on the um, easel that stood between us. And I thought about everything that had happened the night before. What's so urgent that, that you had to see me right away? It's good news, Honji. I'm thinking of giving you a very important job. I actually really enjoy my life, so I prefer not to do anything too dangerous. <laughs> that's <funny. coughs> oh my god that's so me though um <laughs> unlike you i like my life so <laughs> oh god that's just sad what are you talking about it's a simple job i want you to model for my brother what all he's been doing lately is painting landscapes but today i saw him sketching you i'm sure it's nothing more than a passing whim but if this happens to in, to inspire him to do more um, portraits, then it doesn't matter to me. So I want you to do it. I can't just model for him. I've never done anything like that before. Let me tell you what kind of people I hate most in this world, Honji. People who says they can't do anything bef um, before they even try it. That's true. I can't stand them. I get what you're saying, but... See... And so that's why you're going to go to my brother's room tomorrow. Um, room tomorrow, and you fin um you finish your work on it. Hey, I never said I'd do it. Listen, Honji. No, I uh, no, I take the back. You're a nagaldichi. Not not much more than a buy. You don't have a choice in the matter. Oh yeah. Well, you're a cold-hearted, statistic, 
demonic brother obsessed obs obsessed. Call me what you want. I'd say a long time ago that I will not uh, do every whatever it takes to get my brother to pr uh, produce good paintings. Sometimes I wonder if yours is really an art dealer because he was too good at uh, torturing people. I silently um, cursed him as I remember the cocky girl on his face, but Vincent's soft voice pulled me back to reality. I'm sorry that Theo roped you um, roped you into this purple. It's alright, I'm the one who should be apologising. Why? I've never... Um, I've never mauled before, but and it's not like I'm some beaut um beauty or anything. So I'm sure this is an awkward situation for you to, um um, pff, why? That's not true at all. You're very very beautiful. So I'm puzzled why you look t um you talk about yourself like that. He complimented me so cautiously and directly that it took me completely off guard. I felt a hot flush raising to my cheeks, and I, and all I could do was just stare at him, flustered. To make matters worse, he seems completely obvious to the fact that I was flustered, and smiled warmly as he painted. Uh, is it just me, or is Vince totally clueless sometimes? I shouldn't be thinking that right now. I need to focus. Just then, huh? A shadow suddenly fell over my face. Pardon me for a moment, purple. What are you doing? He leaned in so close, the tip of his nose almost touched uh, mine as he candle, uh, cradled my face with his hands. Vincent? <laughs> Why is he so close all of a sudden? But her thunder as Vincent stared at me intensely. Mm, is he trying to memorize my features so he can't paint me or something? If so, I should probably get a hold of myself so I don't have a weird look on my face in the portrait. Um, Vincent? Hmm? Oh. I see blushing. I cannot, I cannot even easily tell when they blush or something. I, I'm sorry. His, his eyes widened as he pulled his hands away from me, quickly re retreated, uh, retreated to a corner of the, of the room. He didn't have to run away from me. I'm sorry, when I'm focused, I tend to f forget what I'm doing. It's alright, Vincent, I'm not mad. I was just a little embarrassed, that's all. When you come back here, alright. Vincent slowly nodded and walked back to the easel. Why were you staring at me like that? I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. It's just something's been on my mind. I feel like you have a really smiled, a general smile that is since you got here. What? It's hard to explain, but sometimes I feel I see the extremely sad, anx anxious look on your face. So, if there's something that um that's keeping you from being able to smile, I like to help fix it. I was incredibly touched by his sweet words. How could um how could one person be so pure? I have no idea he was um thinking that. I was happy, but at the same time, I felt like the very last thing I wanted to do was disappoint him. And so I put a smile on my face as I answered him. Thanks for worrying about me, Vincent. I've just had something on my mind. It's not a big deal, though. I don't mind listening, probably um, especially if it's something that's worrying you. Well, sometimes I just find myself wondering if I'll ever be go back, um, back home. Oh, I see it. I know there's something, um, nothing I can do about it. It's not as if a warrior is going to solve any, anything, so I'll, it's really not a big deal. Just forget I said anything. I will, I will, if if that's what you want to do, but I need to take my mind off if it's I'm going to forget. He stood out and took my head with a smile. Will you go on a date with me, Purple? Wow, that's, that was fast. <laughs> That was the absolute last thing I expect him to say, and I just stared at him in disbelief. Um, but minutes later, Vince of Uncle whisked me into the night, um, taking me on a secret, a secret way, a secret date, which me, which will ease my aching heart. Okay, chapter five summary: A date where, where is Vincent taking me? And that was um. And that, sorry.
I am so sorry. <gasps> a date, Nani, chapter five, summary. A date, Nani, where is Vincent taking me? And what are uh, his true feelings? You say you forced yourself to smile, but that doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna see you guys all later.